Hi folks, I've just purchased uh, Warplan Pacific and just going to take a quick look at the different maps here. Um, better to go hot seat mode here. There seems to be five scenarios that we're looking at here. Uh, China looks like it's the uh, Japanese and China war. Okinawa is probably an introductory scenario where you're just dealing with the Battle of Okinawa. Uh, Pacific looks like it's the uh, the war beginning in 1941, uh, 42, and the Solomon Islands is when uh, both forces were tended to be equal. I just want to take a, a second and look at the different maps that are available and not really get into any gameplay tonight. So let's see what we got here for a map. The layout should be the same as uh, War Plan Europe. Or at least that's what I'm expecting, yes, because the dialogue boxes are there and, and so forth. Looks like you have the Japan mainland and China here. And this is uh, Manchuria, and the Japanese are poised to attack China in this scenario. So it's not the full map. Okay, and the layout of the menus looks exactly the same for all of them. trade routes and so forth and research looks like some other research has been added here amphibious operations anti-submarine warfare still have the reports and the game notes and the build screen My favorite button supply. It would seem that the darker circles indicate supply sources, but don't quote me on that. I haven't read the manual as of yet. And the yellow indicates victory hexes. Looks like when toggle on and off. Okay, so then we've looked at this map here. Let's check Okinawa. Again, going hot seat mode. And again, we're just taking a peek at the maps and seeing what we're getting. I'm actually looking forward to playing this. Yeah, Okinawa looks like it's again a smaller scenario where the U.S. invades and uh, the Japanese have to survive. Looks like uh, supply depots are present too. I like the little towns, the graphics. Looks good. The different shading of the water. Okay, let's check the bigger map. Again, going into hot seat mode. I would assume that this is the full scenario when the U.S. enters the war. So this would be more than likely a, the full map. Let's zoom out here. Oh yes, it's the full map. Yep, Japanese have already invaded China and putting pressure on them. I'm assuming this is after the attack of Pearl Harbor. These are the individual ships, and again, the information is, this is six now, it used to be 10. So that's been a bit of a change. You still have the options for uh, naval, uh, army, air, and uh, strategic bombing. 
I'm kind of curious. I'm not going to do any moves here with Japan here. I want to. I'm assuming that this is after the attack on Pearl. see that uh, ships have already been previously damaged. Interesting to note that the Enterprise is in Pearl. Same with the Lexington. check the start of the next scenario April 26 1942 so this is when uh, Japan is being slowed down So we're looking at more of the Coral Sea. Again, I see a full map in this scenario. Last but not least, let's take a peek at the last scenario here, the Solomon Islands, and see if that's a full map scenario. In the, this is a smaller scenario. More than likely, this would probably teach you naval actions. So those are the maps. Game looks really good.